This chair desperately needs a facelift, so I'm going to start with the handles for really no reason at all. Now I've only ever done upholstery work one other time, so I'm very much a beginner. But it's a lot like stretching canvas, so it's not that hard. All I do is start on one side and tack it in place, making sure to keep a little bit of tension laterally along the seam. This fabric is pretty stretchy, but I don't want to pull it too tight. This is Jersey cotton, and I chose it because it's pretty soft for my elbows to rest on, and there wasn't enough of the other fabric to do everything in one color. Once I had that side mostly in place, I could move to the other side and really start pulling on it. When I'm building canvases, I don't pay any mind to the grain of the fabric, and in this case, I'm not super concerned about it because there's no print or pattern, but I am being a little bit more careful to get the grain decently straight. Then it's just a matter of bunching up what's left on the ends and making the folds as nice as I can. Then cutting off the excess. One thing I didn't account for here, because I'm a novice, is not covering up the holes for the screws to go back in. Oops. It wasn't too much of a problem, but I did have to fiddle with it later. That's the right one out of the way. I'll do the same to the left armrest and then move on to the seat. I'm doing the same exact thing to the other two pieces, except this time I'm folding over the edge so the staple doesn't tear through as easily and to give it a cleaner look. Because of the shape of the seat, I'm being extra cautious not to pull the fabric too tight. I want there to be enough slack that when I sit on it, the material can follow the contours of the cushion without putting too much stress on the staples. When I bought this fabric, it was on clearance because it was the end of the bolt. There was only a yard and a half left, so I bought the whole thing, hoping I would have enough. Luckily it worked out, but just barely. The corners are the trickiest part. Just work your way slowly to them, stapling and pulling as you go. Then when you have enough to make the folds, tuck it together on both sides and pull it tight. Then I did the same to the backrest. After it's all wrapped, we need to free up the spots where the bolts go, so I use an X-Acto knife. Oh, come on. come on. There we go. To cut a small slit and push the fabric around the nut. We'll do that seven more times, and then it's on to assembly. Well guys, I am so thrilled how this turned out. It looks a little flowery on camera, but in real life, it looks really cool. And this is all I had left. Barely made it with the whole thing. But it's super comfy, way better than it was, a lot better to rest on than a bunch of duct tape, that's for sure. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like, share, comment, all those things. Ciao for now, guys.